Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. Uh, today I have a special guest with me. This is my daughter Anna and I am Nancy Beachler and this is the video where we show you what I got each week in my CSA box. Right? So are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is the box this week. It's pretty heavy. Okay, CSA is Community Supported Agriculture and each week for about $30 a week we get a box full of produce from two local farms. So, first thing in the box is the eggs and those are a little extra. The box costs $30, this is an extra $4, but everything else comes with it. This is Swiss chard, I think. This is a salad mix. Oh, what are those? Um, they're bulk. They're onions. They kind of look like bulk. Okay. This, yes, onions are bulbs. Okay. This is some sage. This is some rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. This was herb week this week, so we got lots of herbs. This is basil. Here's a small uh, head of lettuce. Oh, look at those. They're kind of weird looking. Those are cucumbers. Squash. Very nice, huh? Oh, here's something else. Did I say thyme already? I think that's thyme. It smells good. Look at those onions. Those are nice, huh? Oh, boy. Hot peppers. Okay, we have a beautiful little watermelon there. Oh, those were so tasty last week. Apple. Just had another apple we had. Very good. Okay, some oranges. Lemon. Apple. Orange. What's that one? Um. <laughs> um, lime. It's a lime and lots of little oranges. Okay, we have some peppers. Mmm. We roasted those last time. We did roast those. And the last thing in the box is some tomatoes. Mm. Well, I have to tell you that I actually have a little clue to what is in the box each week. <clears throat> because they send me a newsletter and tell me what's coming. And this week, in the newsletter, they told us that we would be getting lots of these herbs. And they said that we should try and freeze them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop these up and put them in ice cube trays with a little bit of water. And then they'll be ready to use at any time. Okay, let's hold it right there and let me show you how I do that. First, we're going to start with some basil and taking it off its stems and then rinsing it up and into the salad spinner it goes. The salad spinner is great because the kids just love that, right Emmy? And then onto the board and chop it up. Oop, I think I need to sharpen up my knife, but there it goes. Now we're going to take some water and put it into an ice cube tray. Okay, I didn't have an ice cube tray, so the muffin tin will have to do. And into the freezer it goes. Well, uh, a little bit of a problem here. Doesn't really fit in my freezer. But that's okay. I have another freezer. Now I had a little trouble getting it out of the muffin tray, so I'm going to put some hot water around it and a few bangs and there they come. And they're ready to put away into the freezer and I can use those at any time, throw them into soups, into sauces. Boy, I should really write what this is on that bag. And now that we've seen how to store those herbs, let's get back to our show. Time in my soups. So that's a great way to use your herbs and to store them and use them later. So, if you want to know how to cut up a watermelon, get a sharp knife. Get a sharp knife for that watermelon. <laughs> All right, until next week, this is What's in the Box.